Hello, I'm Susie Camden, the European trainer for cricket. And today I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly bunting that you can use to decorate your wedding venues. To make the project, you're going to need some fabric, some fabric stabiliser, some rickrack ribbon and some organza ribbon. To cut fabric with the Cricut Explore, you must first stabilise the fabric using an iron-on stabiliser, such as heat and bond or freezer paper. So I've cut a piece of heat and bond light which is the one that I can then sew after I've finished and I'm going to just iron this onto the back of my fabric. So the iron is at medium temperature and you just slowly pass the iron back and forth on the paper side of the heat and bond. And then you're ready to use it to cut your project. The first thing you're going to do is to log into your Design Space account using the account button on the top left of the home screen. Sign in with your usual username and password. Then we're going to create new project, insert image, and we're going to search for butterfly. And we're going to select the image that we want. You'll notice that this butterfly has more than one layer if you look in the layers screen. I don't want to cut the top layer, I just want the solid silhouette underneath. I'm then going to resize my butterfly. So that's our design work finished, so we're now going to the map preview screen. This is the screen that you can change the number of copies of the project that you do. I'm going to do four butterflies. Don't forget to click apply and it will automatically load them into paper safe. Once you're ready, you click go and we'll then follow the on-screen prompts and load our mat. First thing we'll do is remove the paper backing and then carefully apply the fabric to our mat. I'm using the scraper tool to make sure there are no air bubbles and good contact between the fabric and the mat. And then load the mat under the guidelines. We're going to set the smart dial to fabric and press go. Once it's finished cutting, unload your mat and carefully remove the waste fabric from the project. Then you would continue to cut as many butterflies as you want, whatever size you want, out of the fabric. Once you've cut all the butterflies that you need, you're going to then stitch them onto your rickrack ribbon. First thing I'm going to do is to tie a bow at the end of the ribbon, which will act as a loop with which to hang the bunting. Then I'm going to stitch the butterflies onto the ribbon, and this is just a simple stitch to hold it into place. I'm just using a double thread just to save a bit of time. stitch. Knock that one off, we can do the next one. Leave a gap between each one and you can vary the angle, direction, however you want to do it. Continue to sew on your butterflies until you've reached the length of ribbon that you require for your venting. Then you're going to tie a bow at the other end of the ribbon to create your loop. Next I'm going to cut some pieces of organza ribbon and just tie them in a single knot around the rickrack ribbon between the butterflies. If you cut the ribbon on the diagonal it will minimise the fraying of the organza ribbon. we have our finished butterfly bunting. If you'd like any more information about the products used today, please visit the Hobbycraft website or blog, 
or call into one of the Hobbycraft stores and speak to one of our colleagues. Thank you.